Welcome to Tasting the Eight Traditions, the cooking show that takes you on a journey through the flavors and techniques of the eight schools of Chinese cuisine. Joining us is Master Chef Patrick Chow, an award-winning artist, food designer, chef, and writer. A celebrity in China, Chef Chow has cooked for many high officials in his home country. We'll be exploring the unique characteristics of each of the schools of Chinese cuisine, from the fiery spices of Sichuan to Guangdong, where the emphasis is on freshness and simplicity. We'll travel to Zhejiang, where you'll taste the subtle sweetness of their dishes before experiencing the hearty and comforting cuisine of Hunan. Jiangsu cuisine will be elegant and refined, where Fujian is known for its seafood dishes and creative use of ingredients. Shandong cuisine, with its focus on seafood and healthy meat dishes, followed by the intricate and complex flavors of Anhui cuisine. So sit back as we explore the schools of Chinese cuisine on Tasting the Eight Traditions. Hello and welcome back to Tasting the Eight Traditions, the show that takes you through a, on a journey through the eight great culinary traditions of China. Brought to you by Lex Media here in Lexington, Massachusetts. Hosted by the New Legacy Cultural Center. I'm Omar Kudari from New Legacy. I'm Ting Fan. And our guide on this journey is the amazing chef Patrick Shaw. Welcome, chef. Hi. Hi, hi. Welcome back. Yeah. What uh, type of cuisine are we going to explore uh, today? Jiangsu菜呢，主要是以呃海河鲜比较呃多一点，就是原汁原味，比较清淡。还有一个美称叫鱼米之乡。so we're going to do a fish dish, and mm -hmm. that kind of fish, I have no idea how to say it in English. Right, so guiyu is a type of fish, mm -hmm. and songshu is squirrel. I have no idea why it's called songshu guiyu, though. It's squirrel.它就是说它一个主要是花刀，因为讲究刀工嘛，要把鱼给切成那个花刀去炸，炸完之后外酥里嫩，有点像松鼠的样子。uh, so it's going to look mm. like a squirrel after you yeah. cook it, after you deep fry it. Yeah. Okay, mm. with, the, with the clean cutting board, we're going to start cutting up some of the uh, uh, secondary ingredients. Yeah. Uh, fried rice. Fried rice. Okay, so we're going to uh, use it for the fried rice. Uh, okay, we're going to... Jones and Jones boil. Boiled, uh, yeah. Steam. 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 Uh, steam. Okay, yeah. steam it for... Mm. 20 minutes. Okay, the yeah, water is boiling. Yeah. yeah. Stick the peas in. We're going to chop these up. Yeah. Xiao li. Li is Chunk. Oh, chunks. Chunk. Yeah. Small, Small ones. Yeah. So, so we're going to, it's like coarsely chopped. Sour sauce. So Tang Su Jiar, the sweet and sour sauce, the direct chance translation is sugar, sugar vinegar sauce. Yes. Yeah. Here's the sugar. And the sour comes from the vinegar. This yan na yung zui xiao de dega. Shall we dian yi dian dian yi kayela? That's a quarter salt. teaspoon of salt. Okay. Yeah. Oh, just but not the, even just a quarter. Just a little bit. Just oh. yeah, maybe an eighth. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Of salt. Then there's also white vinegar. White vinegar. Yeah. It's a tablespoon. Tablespoon. Yeah. Like a four. Four tablespoons. Yeah. Also a quarter cup. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 
All right, this is the third time we we're making sweet and sour sauce or yeah. mm -hmm. sugar vinegar sauce. So it's like equal parts sugar, vinegar, and yeah, and a cup of water. 基本上差不多，但是呢，也有些不一样。广东那个呢，它是要用，呃，还要加很多的什么菠萝水啊 ，pineapple juice， yeah， 然后 orange juice。我觉得是在这个上面直接取的。还有 celery。So Ting is asking, what's the difference between this and the Cantonese sweet and sour sauce that we made a few, a few weeks ago? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chef Shao said in the Cantonese sauce we add fruit juice. This is simple. Yeah. Okay. Now, now we are going to make this fish. This fish needs a little oil. So it's vegetable oil. Yeah. Okay. 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 This is for deep frying. Okay, so at home, in order to use less oil, you can put it in a smaller pot and chop the fish into smaller pieces. 要要个斜刀，差不多三十五度的角，对，稍微斜一点。Somewhat like a thirty-five degree angle when you cut it. Cut it at an angle. 对。Yeah. So this is thirty-five degree angle. I think that was the key. Yeah. 然后呢？还有呢？然后再这样切。So you don't just deep fry it, yeah. Oh, that's how it's different. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna cut it again. This time. Yeah. So it's 35 degrees. It's the same. It's just not cut this part. This is straight cut. Just. Ah. One is straight cut. The other is straight cut. Okay. So. This is vertical. This. These cuts are vertical. Um. But the front is 35 degrees and the back is the same, right? Yes. Yeah. So okay. So there's no difference with the 35 degrees from the earlier dish that we did. Right. Now we're adding this additional cut. 这样呢，切回来之后是这样的。嗯。Okay. So there are all these chunks of fish that are all still attached. 呃，这个也可以呢，就稍微的切小一点呢，给它。Okay, so we're gonna cut these into smaller pieces. 对。嗯。哎，这样。Again, cutting it at a thirty-five degree angle. 嗯。我们能试试吗？ I'm curious. This meat is like this. You can use the smaller the the shadow one at home. Well, for deep frying. For deep frying. If you have smaller chunks, so you don't have to waste a lot of. And Chef Shao said the pieces were a little bit large and, and deep, but it was pretty good for a beginner. Okay. I guess so. Um, I think the, the challenge part is try not to cut it through. All the way through. Yeah, all the yeah. way through, but yet still enough for it to get to what you, uh, the desirable depths. Because if it has skin, it's easier to cut. Ah, skin is very easy. Yeah, yeah. Because if it has skin, it's all skin. Ah, thin, it's easy to cut. So if the fish still has skin on it, it makes it easier. Right. Because skin is a little bit tough. Then this time, we'll add this fish to the fish. Yeah. 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 Chinese cooking wine that has been infused with a little onion yeah. and ginger. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you don't want it to be too dry, you can yeah. add a little water. Yeah, Just a little Just bit a of little water, bit of is water is fine. So the cornstarch can stick. stick yeah. On, yeah. 这时候呢，用生粉，然后呢，去把这个鱼呢 
Okay, it's going to be challenging getting the cornstarch to go. Yeah, you can just yeah. add a lot so that it'll get into all those cracks. <laughs> I like watching Chef Shaw work. <laughs> mm. All right, so once again, what is this called? This is called squirrel fish? Mm-hmm. Uh, gui um, I don't even know if we have it in this country. Yeah, it's just any kind uh, of I've fish, seen though. It. Yeah, but it's usually like a whole uh, fish. Mm. Um, that you cook it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, any kind of white fish. This uh, is Oh, yeah, that's the key. There's a less bones oh, for okay. those fish. is known for that. For I think it's mm. very good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh. Okay, so mm. it looks like this when it's yeah. done. And we're going to heat up the sweet and sour sauce in the little pan. Okay, now the oil is ready. Okay, the mm. oil is ready. Mm. Okay, okay. 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 Oh. Oh, 250. Yeah. So or two, two hundred, yeah. This is very hot. Okay. Uh, okay, so the second time we're doing it at a slightly higher temperature. Interesting. Now I'm going to be curious if the oil gets dark at this higher temperature. Um. I guess it gets stuck earlier because you have all the cornstarch that was still like in pieces right. when you put it in. So if it was too high, it gets stuck. But now it's already like stuck, stick to the fish itself. So now mm -hmm. it can be higher and without worrying about mm -hmm. it. A little bit, 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 a Pretty. Yeah. Uh. Oh, what a winner, but winner. It was cut. I see. 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 I Look at that. Yeah. Now these uh, other ingredients you can... Pineapple chunks. Just garnish it with it. Yeah. Oh, isn't that nice? Oh, yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Some green peas. And 
and green pants. Fish, but we're not sure exactly what the name of the fish is. Mm -hmm. um, it's from Jiangsu province. <laughs> and it could be any Y fish again that you uh, of your pick. And uh, we'll be back shortly for the second half with uh, fried rice, also from Jiangsu province. American neighborhoods are reporting that foot traffic is down and business has slowed. Racially motivated attacks targeting Asian Americans have been on the rise nationwide. Your acknowledgement that this is happening matters and your support for the Asian community, it matters a great deal, especially at a time like this. Hi, welcome back to the second half of our show about uh, cooking from Jiangsu province in China. We made this beautiful squirrel fish dish in the first half. We're going to put that aside while we make fried rice now. Yeah, uh, Yangzhou chao fan. Yangzhou chao fan. Yeah. Yangzhou is a, a city, a city in, Jiangsu province. in Jiangsu yeah. province. So uh, it's fried rice from Yangzhou. Yeah. Uh, so we use a small fish. Little uh, shrimps. Shrimp. Use a little fish. Okay, we're going to boil those yeah. or mm -hmm. in, in water. So earlier we steamed those those sausages for ten minutes. Now they're ready to be chopped into small chunks. So in the restaurants here, they all have their own house fried rice. And, um, but in China, uh, Yangzhou fried rice is the most famous. I see. And, and it always has sausage and shrimp? Yes. Okay. The texture of this type of sausage is very Better young. than what they would use probably in the restaurant In the restaurants here. here. Well, <laughs> we're doing a household one, so we'll have the you know, more than what you get from the restaurant, yeah. apparently. Um, and the key is that you, you put in whatever amount that you like. Cucumber. It's Cucumber. all about preference. This is white rice that was cooked earlier. Yeah, white rice. Yeah, white rice. Uh, this is made by that much, that much white rice. And he said you fluff it a bit. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You don't add too much water yeah. when you when yeah. you steam the rice or right. when you cook the rice because you want it to be a little hard. Mm. Right. Since he's using so much egg, he's going to add a little bit more oil. Yeah. So this is just like scrambled eggs. Yes, precisely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so that those shrimps are already yeah. steamed. Right? Um, and the sausages are already it steamed. It was cooked by water, so basically just okay. drain it. Oil, yeah. Mm -hmm. But very, not too long. Very, yeah. very long. Okay. okay, add the rice. Yeah. And then 
You know, my daughter does fried rice too. Uh -huh. Put all recipes. Oh. Just like what you said, pretty much whatever. She feels like uh -huh. it. Put it. Yeah. And we wouldn't call it Yangzhou fried rice, uh -huh. I guess. Because it's not exactly what. The Gu Ding the way. I know. It would be our own uh, right. house fried rice. Okay. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 呃，胡椒粉，胡椒粉呢？一般呢，我们都是因为量很小，啊，对，对，这样就可以了，啊，不需要太多。That enough is that's enough. Yeah. Don't use too much. So this is three flavor salt. 对，我 seasoning， 我 seasoning。我们不用味精，也没有鸡粉，啊，就味精的东西都不用的。They don't use MSG. So no MSG. A little bit of salt, salt sugar, sugar, and pepper. And pepper. pepper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you go to some of the restaurants and you, you know, after you had your dinner there, you go home and feel really thirsty. This can be done. We can use this two. Yeah. 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 Or you can add some fish or some fish or some fish. You can add a little bit of chicken broth. Okay, so those we take an hour for. Yeah, yeah. 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 That was added later on, but it wasn't meant to be. I think the point was that this wine, we can put a little bit. Ah, just now we put this wine. So this is our Chinese cooking wine. Yes, directly put it also. If we have this, we can use this. Use with ginger and scallion. Do you remember how to make it? Yeah, that smell is very, very similar. If not, makes it very fragrant. Go back to our prior. Episode of the Jiangsu cooking that introduced you to how to make this wine. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.